know, um, I should finish the year at 80. So hopefully these coaches will see this and start doing the hack of Draymond so I can get some free points. Um, I'll start hitting them shits. But very frustrating tonight and Tuesday. Wrist is not an issue. So uh, I hurt, uh, but it's fine. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't why I was missing those fucking free throws. So it'll be all right. Raymond, you say, I mean, we all saw this game from Steph coming after the opener, but was there anything that he said or did in practice that just, you know, kind of let, let, let on his frustration from, from the first night? Uh, he don't say much, ever, and he didn't miss a shot today in shoot around. So he kind of knew it was coming, um, but he could have missed every shot in shoot around, and I still would have known it was coming. So it's an incredible player. Um, a joy to play with. He makes the game. He gives everybody an opportunity to put themselves in a position to be successful on the offensive end with the attention that he draws. So it was incredible to see. And obviously, you know, enjoy playing with the guy because he's fucking incredible. 21 turnovers is a dangerous way to win a game. Are those mostly correctable or were the Clippers causing some of those turnovers? They're a very good defensive team and they're extremely physical. Um, and so some of those turnovers, we could have, um, you know, we, we could have done something about them and some of them, you got to give them a lot of credit. Uh, that's a very physical team, a very well coached team. Um, you know, and with them adding guys like Eric Bledsoe, who brings more physicality to the game, just as Winslow, uh, for the what, 13 minutes he played, he brought physicality to the game. Uh, that's, you know, that's who they are. Um, so we got to get better with that. And, you know, it was, it was a good test. It was good for us to face that physicality uh, so early in the season because that's, you know, uh, that's what it's like to win against a good NBA team. Like, it's, you know, as these games go on, they are very early in the season. But as these games go on, you get later in the season and, you know, um, a little bit of a reach, but on into the playoffs, it's that physical. And that's a team who, you know, they were in the Western Conference Finals for a reason, you know. So uh, we started the game off, we imposed our will, and then from there they pretty much imposed their will. And we have to, you know, basketball is a game of runs, so there, you know, there will be stretches where we impose our will, they impose theirs. But I think they kind of imposed theirs the rest of the way. And although we pulled the game out, uh, you can't let that happen. You know, you got to push back. You know, they make their push got to push back and you know we did enough to win but you know moving forward we got to be better with that and that starts with me hey Jeremiah, what was your reaction when you and clay were left off the top 75 list and overall do you think that there's any things about your game and his that aren't given the fair deal uh, i'm more frustrated for clay than i am for myself um you know there's not many people that can can do what clay does on the basketball court uh and with his resume um, you know, it's hard to leave him off a team like that. Uh, for myself, I'll just keep building my resume. Um, you know, and hopefully in 25 years, I'll be on the top 100. But in the meantime, <laughs> I just keep trying to build a great resume and hopefully that leads to the Hall of Fame. That's my goal. Um, so just keep trying to do what I've done uh, thus far in my career. But hopefully I can put a, a, a good stretch of years together here and make the top 100 in 25 years. Is it an important game for Jordan Poole? Does he talk to maybe, maybe the physicality of it? or just, Now that he's an established scorer in the NBA, that teams are going to come at him. Did you talk to him at all? What did you get out of this game? I just told him to slow down. Uh, I think everything was kind of sped up. Uh, he was in a rush. And, you know, that, that team were very physical with him. And that's, you know, that's cool. That's, he's going to see more of that. You know, that's, you know, when you're starting and you're playing the way he's been playing through the preseason in that first game, that's what teams are going to do. You're on the scouting report now. So uh, they're going to press up into your chest and make you make plays through the physicality. I think, um, you know, I think he's done a good job for the most part tonight. Uh, I think he made some good plays as well. He struggled a little bit. Um, 
and you know that's to be expected. You know he's not going to have a great game every night. He's still kind of learning his role, uh, still kind of figuring out, learning how it is to play against first team guys. Uh, when I say first team, I mean starters. Um, you know, and that's that's the nature of this game we play. Uh, so learning experience for him. Uh, great that he came in a win, but you know he'll be fine. I think he just needs to slow down a little bit, uh, and once he do that. You know, and the game's kind of coming to him, he'll be fine. But give that team some credit. Uh, and also his youth, uh, he'll, he'll figure it out. He'll figure out what pace he needs to play when the team is playing it's that physical. They want you to speed up. When you're playing against a team that's pressing up like that, their goal is to get you to speed up. So then he has to figure out how to slow it down and get to where he want when he want to get there, not just get to where they're trying to see you when you're flying off the screen faster than you may need to. You know, and so learning experience um but a great experience for him and you know he'll he'll bounce back he'll be fine it's nothing to really worry about but you know if he can slow down a little bit i think it'll be very very beneficial for him Draymond, what you've seen a million of Steph shots what are you thinking when he pulls something crazy and the ball is in the air for that like whatever seconds well what's going through your head uh some of them like jesus christ um what the hell? And the majority of them, that's money. Even on some of the ones, I'm like, what the hell? Still kind of thinking it's money. It's just like, why in the hell did you just shoot that shot? But, uh, you, you know, there, I expect all of them to go in, regardless of how ridiculous some of them are that he decides to take. Still expect them to go in because he makes those ridiculous ass shots. And that's what he's done over the course of his career. That's why he's become who he's become. That's why he's great. That's why he's one of the top players in this league and one of the top players to ever play this game. Tough shot taker, tough shot maker.